the wallet on chain from Chanel. It was so nice, I bought it twice. Let's get into it. All right, looking at the wallet on chain from Chanel. As you can see, this is in the black caviar leather with silver hardware, as you can see from the CC on the front. Look at it from the sides. And then finally on the back, this one does have the Mona Lisa pocket. So this is a piece that I have had for about nine months. And this was the first piece I ever bought from Chanel. And I would highly recommend anyone out there who has never purchased from Chanel, or if you're thinking about it, definitely start with a smaller SLG. Technically, this is not considered a bag. This is a small leather good, but definitely start out with something smaller from any fashion house. This isn't just Chanel, but this is really any fashion house just to get an understanding of how their material feels, how it wears over time, and just kind of seeing if you actually like the piece. I have purchased some items from other fashion houses, and I did start with an SLG, and some have stuck around and expanded into other pieces, while others sadly went back. So it's a really great learning experience. In terms of the overall features of a wallet on chain, I absolutely love the versatility of this piece. Because it is just so simple, it's a great Great shape it holds all of your essential items that you would need if you were going out to dinner or going out in a large group and you don't want to take a big bag with you this is just phenomenal to throw it over your shoulder go crossbody with it and just go so with this obviously you do have this thinner chain strap which has a pretty decent drop on it really nice sleek exterior on the sides doesn't stick out too much on your side when you're wearing it. You have this nice Mona Lisa pocket here in the back. If you had a parking ticket, not, not that kind of parking ticket, but a garage ticket or even a receipt, you could very easily slide that into this back pocket very, very nicely and it wouldn't pooch out, it wouldn't stretch it. But when we open this up and look at the inside, this does feature a zipper that runs along the top, which does go the entire length of the items. So you have this entire section back here where if you are traveling and wanted to put your passport in the back, if you wanted to put some larger bills, if you wanted to put any item that you did not want to risk getting, you know, just falling out of this piece or risk anyone else seeing, you could very easily tuck it back into this section here, zip it up, and it's just kind of like a nice little hidden hidden compartment back here. You do have another pocket here on the outside. You have a nice zippered section here that you could put change in. I have my authenticity card in here right now, in addition to this large compartment with this other pocket right here. So a lot of really great options as far as storage is concerned with the wallet on chain. And then of course you do have your six compartments here for cards. So if you think of your license, a credit card, maybe your debit card, an entry card if you live in a building, a couple other loyalty cards, a lot of really great options as far as capacity when it comes to this item. As far as the Mademoiselle wallet on chain, so this one is going to be slightly different than the regular one, but looking at it from the exterior, you do not have that Mona Lisa pocket here. So that is one area where you do lose a little bit of capacity, but again, you're not storing too much in that pocket, maybe a receipt, maybe a parking ticket, which you can put inside of the wallet. So not a huge loss in terms of that, but just wanted to call that out. You still do have the zippered compartment here along the top, which just like the black one, you can open and fit your entire hand into. So you have tons of capacity for hidden items, a lot of different options for that little hidden compartment. You do have this pocket here that you could put additional items. You have another zippered compartment as well, in addition to the larger pocket. Same with the other wallet. You do have six card slots in this version as well as this additional pocket. So really, from a capacity standpoint, the only thing that you are losing going from the regular wallet on chain to the Mademoiselle version is really just this pocket on the very back side of it. But from a functionality standpoint, you still have all of the other features in the Mademoiselle that you had in the regular wallet on chain. The only difference is the depth. In terms of wear and tear on my black wallet on chain, 
really on the exterior it looks pristine. The outside there are no marks, no scratches. On the very top you'll see no marks. The bottom, the corners, everything still looks in a really good condition. The hardware, I do still have the sticker on this one. Yes, I am one of those that keeps their sticker on until it falls off and nine months in, it has not fallen off yet. So my double CC on the front is still perfectly pristine and new looking. So there is the front. Let's go ahead and look at the back and there are no markings on the back whatsoever. One place that I have seen wear is on this section right here. So depending on the amount of items that you put into this, it is going to either stretch or depending on what sits inside and for how long, you are gonna to start to see an imprint over time. I have not personally done this, but I do know a lot of other people will get a base shaper to pop into the bottom and expand it and it gives you a flat surface so that you don't see, you can kind of see from the light hitting it, that you don't see those imprints from individual items. I have thought about it, I just haven't pulled the trigger yet because I worry about over time the base shaper on these corners, but I may just bite the bullet and end up getting it. But you can see over about a nine month period of time, if you did not have a base shaper, what the bottom could potentially look like. You can see that's the imprint of my phone. And then of course, if there are any other little items, they're kind of pushing against that leather as well. On the sides, um, again, you can see the imprint of my phone here. And then on this side, it's not quite as noticeable, but again, that is something to keep in mind, that this leather around the piece is not the thickest of leathers, so any kind of items that you do have in there, they could potentially make imprints on the sides. Now I will say, when I open up the inside, it's a little bit of a different story. I unfortunately had an incident with my keys the very first time I took this out, so I do have a scratch here on the inside flap. In addition, it's not super noticeable, but when it comes to the wallet on chain, because of this zipper right here, when you close it, this will over time create an indent in this area. And you can see that how I store this, it's, it's really, I mean, you really can't see any indentation there. And the other consideration or the other place to watch is in terms of the flap itself. I don't know if it's just because of this design, but if you look at this flap, you'll see that this actually is smiling a bit. And so what I will do when I store it is I store it with all of the packaging and all the cardboard or the foam pieces to try and protect it, but I will not actually clasp the flap itself. As much as I can, I will try and leave it just sitting like this. When I am using this piece, I do not lift it by the corners. Doing so will just make it curl that much more. I will grab it by this middle section here and raise up and then of course close it just here in the middle again. So something to keep in mind when it does come to a wallet on chain, I think some will react to that way more so than others. If I look at my black one here, it's not doing that. It's not curling, it's not smiling at me. When you are going to open this, don't grab on the corners because that will force those corners to curl up over time. As much as you can, grab it by this middle section, pull on the magnetic closure itself to protect the integrity of the flap over time. Now, how I store it typically is with all of the felt that it came with, any kind of cardboard pieces, but I will store this with the flap up or as open as possible. By doing so, it doesn't have any kind of downward force on the snap closure, it doesn't cause any additional curling, but it helps to protect this inside flap from creating that indentation here. So if you have the ability, I would highly recommend that when you store this, trying to leave the flap unclasped as much as possible, just let it dangle like that. And then as far as the chains, because of the fact I don't have a base shaper here, for a while I was taking the chain and actually inserting it into the bag when I, when I stored it in my closet. What happened or what I kind of thought was going to happen was this chain over time created indents into this leather. Because of how thin it is, it's very easy that if a certain item, say your chains, 
are just sitting on it for an extended period of time, you can see this little bump right here. That is from a chain. You can see this section right here is from the chain. And so what I have done since finding that out is actually take the chain out and have it just dangling along the sides and then having it almost pull in front of it. So I will have, again, the flap sitting just like this. The chain will rest very easily there along the side. And then I just have the rest of it just pulled in the front. And so again, that's not gonna cause any additional wear on the bottom. It's already worn enough, but it's not gonna create any additional imprints on the bottom. I am very cognizant of how it rests here along the side. So far, so good. It has not created any additional imprints here on the side. It hasn't affected this piece of leather as it's dangling. Everything still looks to be in really good condition. And then having this just pulled right in front of it, again, it, it just, it, it's stored very well for me that way. So I do that with both my black wallet on chain and my blue one. And that seems to be helping a little bit, but I think I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and get a base shaper. If anybody out there has gotten a base shaper for their wallet on chain, has any experience, please insert a comment below. Let me know how it's worn for you. I just, I'm just still hesitant with it. But again, you can see with this blue one, I caught it in time. I did not, or I got this a few months after my black one. So I was able to catch this one in time. You don't see any of the chain markings on this one in comparison to the black. So I think there's something to it by not storing your wallet on chain with the chain actually in it, just having it sitting on a shelf just like this with the chain draped outside of it, I think is definitely going to help in terms of storing the item over time. I will preface this by saying that this is not a handbag. I know that a lot of people, when you see this with such a long chain on it, you do consider it a handbag. This is not a handbag. So with this being a wallet, obviously there are certain components that fit inside of this just like a normal wallet would. So let's go ahead and open this flap. And you'll see, again, I have quite a few items in here. So I have a mask tucked in right there on top. But going inside, you can see that I've fit quite a few items. So let's just go ahead and pull some of these out. I do have a little hand cream, a lip gloss, pack of gum, and my phone. Now, taking those items out, you will see there are six card slots that I do have cards in there right now to show. This is something you could very easily just leave your cards in. You don't have to necessarily take them out all the time um, while you're storing this or maybe not using this. I decided a long time ago that I was going to do that just so that the pockets themselves didn't get overly stretched. So it may look a little tight just because of that. But again, something to keep in mind, um, you know, it is a wallet. This is not a bag, but I do from time to time when I do use this, I do completely clear it out when I am storing it. So for that reason, these card slots are going to be a little tight. It may look a little bit more of a snug fit compared to others out there, but just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there. Now you do have a pocket here on this part of the wallet that I put a receipt in. Um, it's not a huge pocket. Again, if you're out shopping and you have some receipts that you want to just store in here, maybe if you're parking in a parking garage and want to put a slip in there, you could very easily do that. There is a zippered section here that maybe if you are out and about, you have maybe some large bills or other items, maybe like a receipt that you don't want flying out or you don't want accidentally falling out of this, you could put it inside of here. I have the authenticity card, but you could put that inside of the zippered section or you could use that very well for change or for coins. But you will see on the inside, there is a considerable amount of room. Um, it is the burgundy lining, so it is a nice little pop of color in there. But it's, you know, again, as far as a wallet on chain, there is really good capacity in here. You can fit your bare essentials. You're not going to fit a ton in here, but you will fit your essentials. Now, one item I did want to call out specifically, and I will put my phone back in here. 
are keys. Now this is something that unfortunately when I first got the bag, and you can kind of see it here, I put my phone in, I had loose keys that I just put right on top and closed it. And unfortunately one of my keys dug into the leather and now I have this scratch right here that will not go away. Drives me insane every time I see it. Because of that, I did go out and purchase a key holder from Louis Vuitton that, uh, lesson learned, anytime I have a leather bag with keys inside, I always want to protect my bag by putting the keys into something. So, you know, ob obviously you can hear my keys rattling in there. Uh, they are very sharp, but it's better to scratch the inside of a key holder rather than the inside of a SLG or even a a handbag in essence. So I would highly recommend that, especially if you are trying to pack everything you can into this item and maybe it is a tight fit and your keys are just chilling there on top, you do have an increased likelihood of scratching this top flap. So just wanted to point that out. Because of that, again, I went out and purchased this, but normally if I'm going out and I have my cards in there, I have my phone, I cannot fit this key holder in here. If I try to put it on top of my phone, it's just, it doesn't fit. If I try and position it behind, you can see, I mean, this thing bulges crazily. It just, it's so incredibly thick. I don't want to ruin the integrity of this piece. So unfortunately, I don't use this. Now I say that you can't fit a key holder into a wallet on chain, however, for whatever reason, I can fit it into this one. I'm going to take my key holder, pop this in. You can see here the flap closes very nicely and it doesn't bulge. So definitely something to keep in mind that between a seasonal wallet on chain and a revolving wallet on chain, you may actually get a slight size variation in terms of the dimensions. What I will do is take my fob out of that holder and just insert it inside. I can very easily fit my phone closes. It doesn't expand out too much. So that is an alternative or something to keep in mind that if you wanted to use keys, one, definitely get something to put your keys into. Do not just insert your keys into this because it will scratch the interior leather. Also, if you use some kind of key holder, more or less, it's going to be too bulky of an item to fit inside. So definitely consider taking, you know, your key fob out, popping that in as a separate item alongside your phone so that it doesn't bulge out too badly. But aside from that, the capacity of this wallet on chain is phenomenal. If you're going out and about for the day and you really want to pare down to just the bare essentials, the wallet on chain is a really good option for that.